and I'm Hoda Hoke from Nile faculty. And I would like to demonstrate some strategies for attempting to accurately assess atlantoaxial rotation with a patient who is guarding, not necessarily in pain, but their muscles are blocking the motion, which could give you a false appreciation of the range they actually have. When we look at AA rotation, we know that there has to be a combined motion occurring, but we want to try and isolate to see how much of it is at the atlantoaxial joint. So we need to get a comfortable fixation of C23 areas, particularly C2 spinous process and lamina, and make sure that they are not moving as I begin to turn the head. Typically, you will get to around 20 degrees. If you're not getting that range, make sure the patient is not in pain, make sure that they're relaxed, and some strategies can be to have her turn her eyes with you in the direction we're going. When you get to about 20 degrees, you're gonna get a a limitation occurring which will require you to side bend slightly about the axis of the AA joint in an opposite direction from the rotation. Then typically if you move slowly you can move to her full range. You will see here if I attempt to move fast it will block at this point. If I move slowly and she engages her eyes to look to the right, we get to the full range of rotation. If I was to do that rapidly, I might get a false impression this is a hypomobile joint. By doing it slowly and making sure that the muscle wasn't fooling me, I picked up that in fact she does have a full acceptable range of motion, but for some reason we are getting some muscle guarding through that range, which needs further investigation. 